Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Protomax water jet in Autodesk Fusion 360 to cut out this metal flange. In Autodesk Fusion 360, first thing we want to do is save our file. This is going to be in my Protomax water jet folder. I'm going to call it Auto Flange. This is some type of metal flange that a student in the automotive program needs cut on the water jet. After saving the file, I'm going to go new component. Even though this is a single body part, it's good habit to always do a new component. Now I'm going to insert a canvas onto this bottom plane. Select my image. I just took a picture of the traced out shape of the flange. You can scale it, move it by dragging the arrows and sliders. You can also increase or decrease the opacity of the canvas. I'm going to click OK. Don't worry about the size for right now. We're going to actually calibrate it. Under the component, there's a canvas section, and then we have our image right-click calibrate. And go to the top view and I'm going to click there and there and call that 2.975 that's the actual measurement across the flange measured with calipers now we can begin tracing this inside of the black profile I'm going to start by using a three-point circle clicking three times on the circle. One, two, three. Repeat that right here. One, two. And I'm just going to eyeball it right there. Going to go ahead and throw some dimensions on this circle right here. We'll just call that six point or excuse me, 0 0.68. Going to draw a line from the center of the circle straight down. Press X to turn that line into a construction line. I'm going to mirror the circle on the left across that construction line. So select your objects, your circle, mirror line right there. That looks good. Click OK. Now both are the same size and mirrored across the center line of the part. Line tool. I'm going to go straight down right about there. Let me try arc there to there. And line tool straight to there. Tangent line tool. Make sure we're tangent. Can draw this line, not tangent. So when we go back and make it tangent, it will be very obvious that we made it tangent. Stop sketch, Q to press pull. I'm going to extrude this to the thickness of the flange that is needed, which is 0.365, almost 3 eighths of an inch thick. And we're going to sketch on this top surface. We have two holes going through this flange, and it's going to match up with the center of this radius with a diameter of 0.357. Same thing for the other side. Find that center point, and I'm going to click right just that. D dimension, place it, and then click on that one right there, dimension 4. So now those are locked together. If I need to change one, it will change the second one. Q to press pull. 
I'm just going to pull this down through the part. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility on my canvas. And we now have the 3D solid model of the spacer flange for this unknown automotive student part. The next thing we can do is verify our size by cutting out either a cardboard or wood template on the laser or the water jet. It probably wouldn't be the best idea to go straight to the water jet and cut it out of thicker metal just because of the time that it's going to take and if it is wrong with any other measurements according to John Saunders NYC CNC we need to fail fast fail cheap so what I'm gonna do really quick is also show you some other skills I'm gonna save this I'm going to take my sketch two and three Those would have been on the same sketch, it would be better. What I'm actually going to do is just create a new sketch on this surface. And this is how you export this sketch geometry as a DXF. And I'm going to export that as a DXF and go into Rhino, Laser Template, Top Viewport, File import look for a DXF AutoCAD drawing exchange file flange and I now can do two things I'm gonna go ahead and print this one-to-one -one scale move move your print sheet over that this is ultimately the fastest way to fail it's only taking one sheet of paper After confirming the part size in Rhino, either printing it or cutting it out on the laser, I'm going to program it for the water jet. could print through the drawing sheets in Fusion, but I don't have a lot of experience with that, and I just tried it, and it was actually a little bit smaller than what it should be, so I think it gets scaled down just a little bit, and it's off quite a bit, actually. So, I'm going to hop over to the CAM workspace. First thing we need to do is go Setup. This will be a cutting operation. Our work coordinate system is going to be the top bottom left of our stock. Our stock size is going to basically be good as it is. Really don't have to be that picky with the water jet. Technically, we're probably not going to have any stock on the top. And we'll make this a little bit bigger, 0.1 on the sides to make sure we have a little bit of clearance around our part. Post process tab, I'm going to call this auto flange for the program name where coordinate offset zero is fine. Click OK. Going to use a cutting operation. The tool is going to be operation type is going to be under cutting. Click OK. And then we want a water jet. Deselect those, click water jet, click OK. And let me minimize all this stuff that I got going here. In the samples, we want to click here and we have a 0.21 water jet. Click OK. Cutting mode is going to be auto. Going to change the cutting mode to high quality and the feed rates aren't factored in in Fusion, they're actually done in the ProtoMax software, so we're just going to ignore this. We're going to go to the next tab, Geometry, we're going to click on the outside edge, where we basically want our outside and our circles, clicking on this face. That's our selected chain. Heights, this tab basically is ignored for the water jet. Passes, we also are going to ignore this. And our linking are going to be our lead-ins and lead-outs. But first, let's just go ahead and look and see what kind of toolpath we have. We see we have our lead-ins right here. They're 
fine and the lead out right there is fine so we don't need to change that sometimes you need to make those a little bit smaller to have it fit inside the geometry that you're trying to cut out simulation time i'm going to turn on the stock turn off the model and we're going to see it cut the whole spurs and then around the outside of the part that is good close Turn my model back on, save, after verifying the simulation we're going to post process and create the G code that the protomax will use to cut out the part. Post process is going to be in the installed posts library these are the default ones in fusion i'm going to scroll all the way down here and find the omax water jet post processor program name you can also put in a comment i'll do this as 1.0 for version one hit post save this file on my usb flash drive auto flange save And we now have the G code for the water jet. I'm going to take the flash drive out to the water jet and cut this out.